two in a row, big second half here tonight uh, to build that lead and, and keep off Green Bay as they try to climb back in the second half. Mm-hmm. Overall, what impressed you most about this victory tonight? I think, um, you know, we weren't uh, we weren't sharp early. You could tell um, we didn't have a, that bounce in our step. Um, and mo- more importantly than the bounce in the step, it was our our mental um, mental awareness was off. Um, we, we played relaxed uh, to start the game. Uh, to the guys' credit, they responded similar to what happened uh, at Robert Morris. Um, you know, I think it's back-to-back games where we shoot 55 plus percent in the second half. Um, so that that was good. Uh, I think the response was there. We did enough. We had that that middle of the second half run um, triggered a lot by our defense. Uh, Mike Diggins had a couple big blocks. We go down the other end. KJ hits the three to go up 10, and that provided the the spurt that we needed. Um, then free throws down the stretch um, were interesting to say the least. And um, you know, you, you sometimes you see one or two that miss, and then it becomes a little bit of a a habit on your team, and I've seen it happen before. It goes both ways, but we made enough and did enough to uh, to finish them off. And uh, I'm really, really happy for our guys. We're we're grinding. We want to finish this thing um, strong on Saturday night. Um, but in order to finish February off strong, we had to finish uh, finish these guys uh, this game off tonight. I'm really ha- just happy for the guys. It's they're they're grinding away and um, and plugging away and doing what needs to be done uh, to win close games um, even when you make them closer than they probably need to be Zion for you career high 27 points at Robert Morris followed with a game high 21 tonight what's been clicking for you to, to allow you to be so effective here down the stretch um just being a player that I know coach recruited me to be um, just staying humble, knowing that when the, when the time comes and when I feel like I'm in a, a situation to get a shot that I know I can make or take advantage of a mismatch or just, just doing that to the best of my ability and doing whatever my team needs me to win, needs me to do to win. Coach, Zion on the court seems to be a lot more aggressive towards the rim with the, with the shot fade, yeah. drawing contact, getting the line a ton here as of late. Has that been something that's been, been worked on or is it just trying to play to his strengths? What's, what's led to him being so much more aggressive here as of late? Well, if you'd have seen him when he first walked in the gym last year, um, it was a step back mid range uh, shooting machine. And uh, we had, uh, we bumped a lot of heads um, over the first two months last year. And, um, you know, I, I've said this before Zion has become, um, last year he was not an everyday guy. He was, he was up and down in games and practice. And um, to his credit, um, his maturity, um, on and off the court, he's become a, um, an everyday student, um, and he's become an everyday practice player, um, and that has allowed him to to continue to grow his skill set. And Zion's taken what the defense gives him. He took two, you know, three open threes tonight, makes two of them. Um, the one in the second half was was really big um, to get us uh, put us up ahead again after we were down two. And then, you know, the other times he's, he's going and playing off at of two feet and just being Mr. Fundamental in the paint, shot fake. And that's why when you're close to the basket, um, you shoot 12 free throws. And I think he shot over 12 in the game at Robert Morris it's because he's playing around the basket, using his strength and, uh, and uh, his athleticism and it playing very balanced. So it's a lot to it. Um, you know, Zion's you know, a very prideful uh, kid when he, he wants to compete. Um, he wants to do really, really well, and uh, to his credit, he's he's becoming a an everyday guy that uh, has the right mindset and attitude uh, to be successful. Um, because until you get that, you can't allow all the skill and the athleticism that you have to put it to use if um, you're not showing up every day. And I'm I'm proud of him because he's he's really grown this year as a as a, a student and ath- as an athlete, a player, and a young man. Coach, the, the bench trio tonight of Diggins, Zion. And Jalen combined for 40 points, 14 rebounds, seven assists, three steals, and four blocks. How much of a game changer is it to have, you know, whether it's Michael with the blocks or, or Zion scoring, Jalen scoring and distributing, just having those weapons at your disposal off the bench? Uh, it's great. I mean, we've had different starting lineups this year, and um, you know, our guys have, you know, with injuries and and performance going in and out, and just kind of a feel for what our team may need um, to be at their best. Uh, but those three uh, tonight were terrific. Jalen um, just had a great floor game tonight. He was efficient. Uh, Want to have one or two of his passes back. Um, but he um, he really got down into the paint and, and second half really generated energy for us um, on offense. And then uh, Mike's, his block shots, um, 
were, were huge at the rim, um, and it led to breakouts. Uh, so it was really big, and then obviously we've talked about Zion. I'm done talking about him. <laughs> Z, as Coach mentioned, over 50% from the floor in the second half of these last two games. What would you attribute that success to? Um, just, uh, I, I mean, just knowing that I'm, I'm, I'm a good player, I would say just uh, just stand within myself and not trying to overforce anything. But um, I would also say that um, just staying confident would, would be my biggest thing. Uh, I, that's it, just staying confident. And then again for you, Z, with, with the senior day coming up, you know, the, the duo of Jamie and Diggins that were here when you got here, and then the three grad transfers that will be honoring, just what has that group meant to you as you got acclimated to UIC, and then this year as you're really starting to blossom into the player you are? Uh, it means a lot. All the guys, like uh, I don't know if you can see it out there, but we're all we're, we're all pretty close. We're all like brothers. Uh, but the the older guys, I look at them for motivation, support. Just uh, just they've been through it. So like anything that I feel like that I could have a question on, I go to them and ask them. They give me the utmost advice, and I know they're not gonna sugarcoat it with me. Like we're all adults here, so like they they mean a lot to me. They mean a lot to this team. Coach, uh, same question to you. Just well, I'll have a chance to reflect after the game on Saturday, but. What was this group meant to, to get this team to be playing meaningful basketball late into February to get here for the right only tournament? Well, I think just the I guess resiliency is 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 the word that I w would say. You're, you're you're rewarded. We talk about diligence and grit in our program, and um, you know Mike and, and Jamie have had their their they've been here five years, so they, they've had peaks and valleys. Um, they've had peaks and valleys in the season. Uh, but those two guys in uh, particular have just been resilient, um, and they've stuck with it. Um, Jamie is just in every is every and an everyday guy as anybody. Um, 365, um, he's locked in um, for himself and his team. Um, and Mike again has, um, you know, he's he's had to take on different role. Um, you know, playing more of uh, the five this year. Um, than he probably you know would want wanted to or expected to, um, but the way everything has panned out with our, our roster, um, you know he's he's been huge in that in that regard. And uh, he th both those two guys are really, you know, they're respected by by the guys in the locker room and by the coaching staff. They're they're good dudes um, that care about the guys next to them. Um, they both have a heart um, for the game of basketball, but they also have a heart for. Their teammate and an understanding of what it means to be a part of a team and and what everybody is going through at various times um, during the year.